uh, when I was starting out, it was all vague, you know, but I knew for a fact that this was what I wanted, so I was ready, even not to sleep, just to be able to do what I had to do, because I was in a mode of discovery. No matter what I did, I was very excited, but at the same time very nervous, especially when I did the Cata Sedenta. I tried to back out from the project many times because okay. it was hard, and I was scared, I was intimidated by the whole cast, I was intimidated by the project, so there was a lot of uh, nervousness, there was a lot of anticipation and excitement, but more than anything, if I remember it right, I was just really excited to discover what I can do, you know, how I was, how I was going to pan out as an artist. It was all about discovery. Okay, um, second question ko. Um, apart from the idea of hard work, um, anything that reminds you of hard work and then um, what keeps you grounded as a person despite the many challenges, the many intrigues that you, that, that are thrown at you? I'm still, for, for the life of me, I know I'm never going to be able to uh, comprehend the fact that I'm an artista. You know, until now I still get overwhelmed when I see myself on billboards, commercials, movies, TVs, whatever, uh, TV shows, or even concerts. Parang hindi ko, hindi ko, hindi ko realize you know. I think that's one good thing about, you know, staying grounded. Because I never owned up to it, no matter what I did. I know it's because of God's uh, uh, favor, you know, by His grace, I'm able to do something I never thought I could do. And it has a lot to do with my faith, my my values in life, how I was brought up, and that I know that this is fleeting. You know, everything else in this life is temporary. So I live in the moment, but I make sure that that moment counts. And that, you know, if I, if I don't make it count, then I'm just wasting away. So that's why I try to leave a mark, you know, kahit nasa na ako, sino nakakausap ko, making sure that, you know, that's not a wasted moment as well. Last question. Um, you mentioned because you're open for producing films, especially like ind independent films. Not necessarily independent, it's just film. Oh yes, okay. <laughs> so, you, you also wanted to do independent films, right? So um, yeah, there, was, there was one entry in the Metro Manila Film Festival that you were supposed to be starring in, and then suddenly um, you were not part of it. Um, meron ka bang regrets? No, I, I believe that everything happens for a reason. There are a lot of movies I wanted to do, but I just couldn't because of uh, schedule. So I know for a fact that even with uh, some movies that I ended up doing, it was originally for somebody else. So I believe that if it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, then it's not going to happen. So I don't have any regrets as long as, if especially that person is able to become better because of that or win awards because of that role, then I'd be more than happy because it's it only means that it was meant for that person. Last last question. Um, what's your favorite Bible verse? It will always be uh, back. <laughs> it, will, it will always have to be uh, the theme of my foundation, the Hebrew Foundation. Hebrews 12, 1, I happens to be my birthday, 1, 12, I forgot the Therefore, since we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, let us uh, therefore rid ourselves of every... Uh, let us... Uh, since there is there's a, there's a great cloud of witnesses, uh, <laughs> it, it has to do with uh, it has to do with life's race. You know that we are in a race. The reason why I I, I like that uh, verse is it may explain ko lang, is it, uh, Hebrews Hebrews twelve. It made me realize that uh, as much as we are in our own walk. There's a race, you know. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Oh, so, yeah, 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 that's. I just have to see the first one. So, you yeah. know, and then I also I have uh, I have a lot of light verses. <laughs> this last one, uh, there is Romans 12:1, which happens to be uh, it's my birthday as well. 
It says here, therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to uh, offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the patterns of this world, but, but, by, but be transformed by the renewing of the Spirit. Then you will know what God's will is, his true, pleasing, and perfect will. You know, so you both. Thank you. Thank you. Last one, the other And this is my Oh, um, happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> 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 yeah. So at forty, um, gano pa ka importante sa yo ang kasal? Ah, uh, sabi ni Asta, si Tita Asta, ata nagsulat nun eh, sabi ko to pare ko na yung pangako ko na magpukasan ng 40. I remember being 20, and I said, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna get married at 30. And then I said, okay, in five years, 35. And then I, 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 I realized, I also said that I wanted to settle down at 40. But, uh, in all honesty, you know, I've been single. You know, this is the longest time that I've been single, and I'm enjoying every minute of it. Not that I feel incomplete, but it's not something that I look for uh, just because I have to, just because just the society, uh, that's what the society expects from you. For me, when it happens, if it happens, then I'll totally embrace it, but for now, I. When I sign up, when when I when I when I when I'm under contract, I make sure that I'm committed to it 24/7, 100%. So I can't find the time to be with somebody, get get settled, or settle down. I just feel that you know I don't want to say that I haven't found her, my partner, or whatsoever. I just feel that uh, it will only happen. It it will happen in God's perfect timing. You know, so for me, I'm not jumping into anything. I'm just really exploring, enjoying my life, living life to the fullest, and waking up every day to a new day. You know, if she comes tomorrow, when it happens tomorrow, then I'll welcome it. But I'm saying I believe in I believe in the sacrament of marriage. But when once when I get married, then I know hindi na ako magiging fully committed sa trabaho because madali ba kana magkaroon kana ng kumaga. Uh, priorities so I make sure that I enjoy and I commit to my craft my my contract whatever I'm doing right now completely and hundred percent so let's not to divert my, my my thoughts but I believe in it definitely yes and last of all being a loyal kapamilya nakikita mo ba yung sarili mo para kino ini interview ano being a loyal to family, nakikita mo ba yung sarili mo na magiging one of the corporate officers ng ABS agency, similar to Miss Chaga Sanchez? Uh, actually, we were talking about it. You know, if there's one thing I can do for the station, is probably be an advisor to Star Magic. You know, just to be able to give back or just share. You know, if I'm able to share my life, my testimony, you know, uh, I do it to be able to speak, but to live a corporate life, I don't think I'm cut out for it. Okay. Okay, go. English No, kasi di ba si si Lloydie, si JLC, nag nag jury siya for MMFF. Uh, this year, so December or November, pag nakaroon offer sa you, would you accept? Of course. Be jury or it's, it's, awards it's, it's, night it's, or selection? Yeah, you? yeah, it'd be an honor. You know, it's a privilege. It's it's one way of giving back to the industry that, you know, you so well love. You know, I'd, I'd be happy. I'd be happy. films yeah. for this first year? I just got back, so I have not seen anything. So I was on vacation. Ah, okay. But you're looking forward to it. Next time, definitely. Of course, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, before we end our um, black call, we'd like to show a, a short clip for. Okay, let's watch this.
Ikaw ba gusto pa noorin? Pwede pala. Pwede ng hero. Kapal ba ng hero?